Hey y'all, it's Friday morning and um, it's the school holiday so I have a long weekend which you know I love. And we just got home from the vet. We took Ringo for his little first vet visit and then Coco had to go get her annual shots and one of my cats that you haven't seen, she stays inside, she was feral. We, um, we brought her in as a stray and tamed her and anyway she's living her best life but she got to go to the vet too so who three animals to the vet that's like that's like I, I I need a nap so now that I'm out in my garden well it's wonderful to be out here today because I just walked through and there's monarchs flying around and golf fritillaries so I'm excited to see who I'm going to see today. But I also wanted to tell you, last year about this time, I want to say, I got my first PR. And PR is um, something that uh, people who sell stuff, like make a product, they send it to you in the hopes that you'll try it and talk about it on your YouTube channel. And, you know, my YouTube channel, it, it, we're, we're small here. We're small, but we're super friendly. And um, so I don't get a lot of PR. Well, this company reached out to me, and they have the coolest thing. It's like this little, like, handheld chainsaw sort of thing. And so they want to send me a sample. I guess that's what they call what they send you. And, um, you know, and if I wanted to try it out, make it, put it in my video... And, and they ask you first. They don't just send you stuff, I guess. So anyway, they're going to send it to me. <laughs> I'm kind of so excited about it. It looks really cute. So I'll be sure to show it to you when it arrives. But another company, Firefly Books, they sent me two books last year. And they have a new edition of a book that they've sent me so I have that to show you and then I ordered another book um, that I pre-ordered and it came and I want to show you that and I ordered a new bug house for my garden which is the same type as one I already had that's been out here for years it's still out here but it's like it's about at its end but it still has like the little seals on some of the tubes so you know, it, it's not going anywhere till whatever is living in it moves on. But I also wanted to show you that. So I'll, I'll probably like do a little gardening and show you a couple things and then pop in and show you a book or, or something. I don't know. It, it'll just happen how it happens. And now it's time for a moment of look at these zinnias. I am just thrilled to be back in zinnia season again. Look at the coloration of the petals. It looks like the sunset. It's gorgeous. And look at this little cosmos back here. There's one of those little green bees or green, I don't know. And here's another zinnia about to open all of its petals. Hey y'all, so you know all the little sulfur caterpillars I found and put in the butterfly haven? Well, like they disappear and for a little bit I was like, is something getting in there and eating them? Um, every once in a while I find a lizard in there, you know, because they can get in. But apparently they are going off and pupating in there because there's one in the enclosure flying around now i have yet to find one of their chrysalides in the enclosure but they must be making them because there's one in there so let's go see it and then i'll release it and this makes me so happy oh my gosh look there it is on my balloon milkweed but look down here now I can see very clearly the empty chrysalis 
I never noticed that all the times I've been in here. I should go back and look at some of my old video footage and see if I see that chrysalis in the background. They blend in so well. So beautiful sulfur. Let's see if I can. And clearly this is going to be a two-handed release. So and I, I bet it's going to take off flying, so you probably won't see it again unless you see it flying around my garden. Because this is how they fly all over the place. Oh, there it landed. Let's see if I can get a little bit more footage for you. Just beautiful. All right, well, it's flying free, and it was definitely an orange barred sulfur. Um, when I was releasing it, its wings opened wide, and I can see the orange bar. It was absolutely spectacular coloring. I, see, I think I see it flying around right over there. Just beautiful. Makes my heart happy to know that nothing bad happened and that they're just really good at hiding their chrysalis. So, yay! Another successful butterfly release. You guys, I'm just sitting out here in my garden and I've been flipping through this book, um, Raising Butterflies and Moths in the Garden. This is the second edition. This is the one I told you <clears throat> that they sent me. Here's the author, Brenda. I'm not even going to try and pronounce Brenda's last name. I'm guessing it's Ziedzik. Maybe the D's kind of silent. Y'all, I have been completely engrossed in this book. This book is like the, the book version of what I've been trying to do in my garden. Which is plant as many different hose plants and nectar plants that will make an inviting space for as many different kinds of butterflies as possible that live in my zone. So what I love about this is first of all ease of use. It shows you the picture of the butterfly, what the eggs look like. Very nice and easy quick list of the host or larval food plants. They devote a few pages showing you the different instars so you know what they look like and you know what to look for. And in the front of each section they give you a quick map so you can do a quick at a glance is this for me or is this not for me so you know whether to keep looking or pause and see what plants you need to buy to get another type of butterfly in your garden. And another thing, this is for my friend who is loves moths. You know who you are. Um, look at this. Look at this. They made a little um, like mating thing and they put the female inside and then they said to put the female in like a paper bag and then she'll lay eggs afterwards. I mean, that's, that's a kind of cool contraption. That looks like something I would make. I'm going to link this below because I do believe it's on Amazon. So I'll, I'll put it at the top um, for an Amazon affiliate link. Like if you're into my channel, you would love this book. Like every single one of you, if you don't already have it, you would love this book, especially if you're looking to add more, look, there's a monarch flying around. If you're looking to add more um, butterfly types to your garden and wanting to know what host plants or nectar plants to add, I, you just, you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. So I love it. I love it a hundred percent. I love it.
So next piece of business is my bench came. It's in a box in the house. So I have to move out that enclosure that has all those overwintering solitaires that are still in their chrysalis. I'm actually going to move them into the back of the greenhouse. <laughs> and that will keep them safe if it rains. And then this blue chair is going to come out. And then I'll get the bench and put it in. And we'll see how it all comes together. Hey y'all, my bench is here. So you can see I'm holding it up with one hand. It's really lightweight. So far I love it and I haven't even opened it yet. But um, it looks like it's going to be exactly what I was hoping for. And I think it's going to work out really great in the enclosure as a place to sit or do some potting or filming or photography. So I'm going to go set it up and I'll show you what it's like. See, it literally folds open and locks. And then it's got a push in on each side to push in and fold flat. My goodness, like if you have like a pool or backyard events, how easy would this be to put out for people to sit on and then fold up and store away? I love it. All right, I'm going to go put it in the um, Butterfly Haven. We'll be right back. So there we go. And it really goes well, the color with all of my pots. Like, it's like it was meant to be. I'm excited to go in there and do some gardening and see that opens up this whole section down here for more potted for more potted plants and there's room down there for more potted plants so it's exactly what I envisioned it would be I'm thrilled Y'all look who's back. Every day, he's been here. Oh my gosh, she's still absolutely beautiful. Still looks perfect. No weathering, no wearing. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad he found my garden. This is a tiger swallowtail, eastern tiger swallowtail, and it is a male. It's a male because on its um, hind wings, it would have more blue if it was a female. It's very yellow. Oh, and you can see I moved my enclosure in here that has all my swallowtails. It's actually better in here. I've been keeping the door to my greenhouse open um, because it's really hot in there. But it still offers some more humidity and protection for the plants that are growing in there. But well, there they are in there. And that way if it rains they're not going to get drenched but they'll get to experience like the mist of the rain and hopefully they'll decide to it close soon because i'm ready to see them i still have all these plants to plant <laughs> too <laughs> Hey, yeah, you know how I was talking to you earlier about how we took the dogs to the vet today? Well, you know, something has occurred to me, and it's occurred to me before, but I haven't mentioned it on my channel. 
But um, my entire backyard is a garden. There's no grass back here. And this is where our dogs come out when, you know, they come out. I don't have fleas. I haven't had a flea issue since I started this garden. And I don't have to treat my dogs for fleas. I don't have to put anything on my cats for fleas. And I haven't done that for years. So, you know, I think it's because like they just can't live back here. I mean, there's a lot of predators back here. A flea doesn't stand a chance. I don't know if it's because there's no grass. You know, I have done no research on this. It's just a speculation on my part. It's something I've noticed and something I enjoy because if you do use flea preventative on your pets, especially the kinds that are the little tube that you squeeze on their um, neck or even, I think, are they in pill form? I don't know. But when you touch your pet, you can get that on your fingers. And if you touch a caterpillar, you can kill it because it's a pesticide. Because it kills fleas. It's a pesticide. So just keep that in mind if you do use a flea if you do use a flea preventative on your pets, always, always, always wash your hands after you've touched your pet. Or make your entire yard space a garden space and then maybe you won't have a flea issue anymore I don't know it's a thought let me know if you know anything about this but I love it I love not having to use it I love that my animals don't have to deal with them hey y'all we just arrived at the nectary and I'm delivering my pentas so they're here now look how beautiful their entrance is now and they have so much in stock here. I just love it. So I'm just visiting today to drop off my pentas, but of course I'm gonna look around and see if they have any little caterpillars, perhaps, on some plants.